Hi all, in this session we are going to learn something about information theory and coding. We will be learning about the binary cyclic codes. More specifically, let us try to draw an encoding circuit. The encoding circuit for a binary cyclic code looks like this, which is made up of n minus k number of flip flops which forms a shift register and mandatory adder along with many modulo 2 adders. This encoding circuit takes the message as the input and produces the code word as the output. The length of the message bits will be k bits and the length of the code word will be n bits where always n will be greater than k which includes the remainder polynomial that whatever we generate here that is nothing but the remainder bits appended with the message bits and an AND gate Now let us try to understand the basic blocks that will be used in the encoding circuit. That's one R. R stands for the flip flops to form the shift register. R is the remainder bits as well. Then we have modulo 2 adders. Followed by that we have GI which is nothing but the coefficients of the generator polynomial. If bi value is equal to 1, then there is a closed path between two points and it will be left open if gi is equal to 0. Finally, we have an end gate. Let us consider this example. Design an encoder for the 7,4 binary cyclic code generated by g of x is equal to 1 plus x plus x cube. Let us solve it in this particular fashion. Let us note down whatever is given. Given n comma k is equal to 7 comma 4 indicating the number of message bits is equal to 4 bits and the code word length is 7 bits means to say the length of the input is 4 bits and the length of the output is 7 bits and we know that the general form of the generator polynomial b of x is equal to b naught plus g1 plus g2 x square and so on up till g n minus k x power n minus k means to say the general form of generator polynomial g of x is a polynomial of degree n minus k and we have to note that in the given numerical we have g of x is equal to 1 plus x plus x cube. So comparing these two equations I can tell g naught which is nothing but x power 0 term is present that's the reason g naught is equal to 1. Similarly, g1 which is nothing but x power 1 term which is also present that's the reason g1 is also equal to 1. Next coming to x square, x square g2 term is not present means to say x square is not present so g2 is equal to 0 and since x cube is there we have g3 is equal to 1. So, we have g0 equal to 1, g1 equal to 1, g2 equal to 0 and g3 equal to 1. And the number of flip-flops needed is n minus k which is equal to 3 which is nothing but the number of check bits or the remainder bits that we are going to append to the 4-bit message to form it as a 7-bit code word. As we have got to know about the number of flip-flops needed to draw this encoding circuit is equal to 3, let me draw this beginning with 
the flip flop R0. The next flip flop is R1. Followed by this, I'm going to draw the next flip flop, that is the third flip flop R2. Then we have a mandatory add over here. Let me take the message input. The message input D. Let me connect it to the mandatory adder. Let me take the AND gate. The output from the modulo 2 adder, I'm going to give it as the input for AND gate. This AND gate takes on another input called as ENABLE. Okay, after writing this much, we have to note that the generator polynomial that is given in the question is b of x is equal to 1 plus x plus x cube. From this, we noted that b naught is equal to 1. So there is a need for connection from the output of the AND gate to R0. Then b1 is also equal to 1. Means to say there is a need for a connection from the output of the AND gate to a uh, adder over here means to say in between R0 and R1 there is a requirement of an adder. And next term G2 is equal to 0. Since G2 is equal to 0 there is no connection from the output of the AND gate and since it is not connected there is no need to have an adder in between R1 and R2. Though g3, that is, the coefficient of x cube exists, it is of no use to draw the encoding circuit because we have only three modulo 2 adders, which is n minus k minus 1. Okay, now the output of the AND gate is connected to R0 in this particular fashion. Similarly, the output of the AND gate is connected to this particular adder in this particular fashion. Okay. The content of R0 will be added with the out will be added with this particular adder and the sum will be shifted to R1. The content of R1 will be shifted to R2. The content of R2 is another input for this modulo 2 adder as well as the content of R2 will be shifted to this particular position. Let me mark this position as position 1 and this as position 2 and let me take this output. What is this output? This can take on the input from either position 1 or position 2 depending on the operation that we are going to carry out. Finally, the output that we are going to generate here is called as the valid code word V which will be transmitted to the communication channel. So, note here we have two modulo 2 adders. Let me call this as the first modulo 2 adder and this as the second modulo 2 adder. And this is the binary cyclic code encoding circuit for the given G of X is equal to 1 plus x plus x cube. Thank you.